Well, welcome, uh, and thanks for joining us for the announcement of yet another Sprint 4G milestone. Today, we're announcing the world's first Android 4G smartphone. This is going to take multimedia to a whole new level. It has camcorder-like video capture and playback, equal to HD quality, so you can ditch your camcorder. It has an 8 megapixel camera, so you can ditch your camera as well. Uh, it has a really a beautiful 4.3 inch, very high resolution screen. We even added a kickstand so that you can watch videos hands free. The Evo itself is a very fast device with a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor. So websites including Flash applications uh, appear really in a snap. It's a terrific smartphone, even in 3G markets. So even if you only have 3G coverage, this is about as good as it gets. I'm going to launch the new YouTube HQ browser. Uh, one of the things that um, the browser does is it automatically identifies high quality content. So the HQ at the bottom of the browser is actually telling you that it's in high quality mode. So I brought up standard definition on this droid so we can have a comparison between the two devices. <laughs> and if you do a side by side, you can really tell the difference. And you notice there's a big quality difference between high quality content and standard quality content. Typically, the only way that you could take advantage of high quality content before on YouTube players was if you had a Wi-Fi connection. But since we have 4G network that's mobily uh, available everywhere, you can actually take advantage of this. One of the things we're really excited about is uh, this HDMI uh, output that you have at the bottom of the device that can connect to any of your HDMI flat panel TVs. What we've done is we've actually utilized the 4G network to be able to use the 8 megapixel camera to take a picture and upload it very quickly on the 4G network. You can also create your own content because there's a 720p high definition camera that allows you to take your own videos and then stream them through the HDMI out to your video source. Let's say you want to take a picture of the Eiffel Tower. It could be a magazine cover, it could be a wine bottle, it could be the cover of a book. It will actually uh, take that picture and what it does is it actually scans it and if you saw that was an immediate return from Google on the search results using our 4G network. Uh, let's say it's returned a whole bunch of different results for the Eiffel Tower. Uh, let's go to the official website for the Eiffel Tower. So as you can see, it's loading this website, and I will, I will tell you, this is a very heavy website. It's got a lot of graphics, a lot of animation. Uh, you can scroll through it. You can pinch and zoom. Um, you can actually uh, navigate through the, uh, through the different parts of the screen. So, uh, let's see what people are tweeting in the room. So we can actually see what they're saying about you. Uh, as they're yeah, they're probably about. not saying a lot of good things. But, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to pull up the tweet filter, and so you notice it actually turns on the camera, it puts a little grid, it shows the horizon, and then it immediately pulled up results. And uh, if you see, there's these little circles with pictures of all the different tweeters in the room and in nearby locations. And as I turn the device, it shows me where they're located at. So of the devices that are available this summer, the HTC Evo 4G, we believe, will be in a class by itself.